guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today I am sharing with you a stitcher library. <laughs> a stitcher library is where you pull a pattern that has been hanging out in your library for a while, and that counts like physical books, crochet pattern books, things you printed off the internet, things you have saved on your phone, or in my case, a ridiculous amount that is downloaded on my computer. <laughs> I have so many, it's not even funny. But uh, so the one that I pulled out this week to work on is a garden flag from Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. And it is a pay for pattern, but I believe I got it for free at one point because she gives away a lot of coupon codes and things on her Facebook group um, to where you can redeem it for free patterns. So I got a lot of her patterns for free that way. Anyways, <laughs> so the one that I made is called the Melon Garden Flag, I believe. I'll pop up a picture real quick of her version of it. And when I first was looking at it, it kind of has like a fall theme to it. Uh, like I know watermelons is a summer thing usually, but like the watermelon crop, you plant it, you know, earlier and it is done towards the end of the summer. But with the brown background and then the crow and the sunflower, <laughs> it, um, it gives like fall vibes, you know, like the end of summer or beginning of fall. But I wanted to make a summer themed one. The one I had hanging out before that was the bee one. So it was like a springy one to me. <laughs> so my summer one was going to be the watermelon. And instead of the brown background, I did blue. And then instead of a crow, I did like a bluebird. I did keep the flower yellow because I thought it was pretty yellow. <laughs> but I think that it looks more summery with the blue background and the bluebird. So here's a picture of mine. I can't show you physically it because it is hanging outside right now. <laughs> and But I did take a picture of it hanging out there to share with you guys. So this is my Stitcher Library for this week or for now. <laughs> I, I have so many patterns in my library that I need to work on. That I've either downloaded for free or purchased over the years and just never got around to making. So I'm trying to do that. <laughs> so this is one of them. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I really like making the garden flags. And the bee one hung outside for like a month or so. Maybe a little over a month. Um, pretty sure all May and maybe a little bit of April. <laughs> I can't exactly remember when I put it out there. but um, And it didn't fade or anything because I tried to put it in a place where... It was an indirect sunlight and I think that helped a lot. So now my watermelon one's out there and then I'll probably leave that one out there until fall. Um, fall for me, <laughs> a spooky season starts in September because I like to celebrate Halloween through September and October so that I have more time to celebrate it. But I, I don't put my outside Halloween decorations up until towards the end of September. So I might make like a just a, I don't know. Because it's still really hot here in September. I don't know. I might just leave that one out there until the beginning of October. And then I'll make a Halloween one and stick out there. I do have a bunch of her garden flags. Heidi Yates. Uh, she has a ton of them. <laughs> and I have a bunch of them. I have most of them, I think. Except, like, the newer ones. Um, so I have plenty to choose from. <laughs> and I've made a bunch over the years. I usually just hang them in the house. But I've been wanting to put them outside. And then I finally bought one of those poles. And if you're interested in those poles... Do not buy the one from the Dollar Tree. I bought one from the Dollar Tree and it's super floppy. Like the weight of the crochet flag would make it bend. <laughs> so I did go ahead and invest in one from Walmart that was $5. It's like a Better Home and Garden one, I think. <laughs> and uh, it is much more sturdier. So it's, it's worth it to just buy the nicer one to begin with. <laughs> but anyways, I will leave that pattern link down below if you want to check it out. And you can uh, see all her other ones. She has like a category in her Ravelry shop of all the flags listed. So you can see all of them. <laughs> There's a birthday one too, which I think would be cool to make to put out for people's birthdays. But uh, yeah, so all the yarns I used were Red Heart. I'm pretty sure. Maybe one or two brunettes stuck in there. <laughs> but I think it was mostly Red Heart. But yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys. Bye. 